we're having our very first run, a special event here in Butler County. Uh, we've never done one before, but uh, we've had a great turnout. We're very excited about the number of runners and walkers we have. And uh, we, it's very family oriented and we're excited about that. So strollers, wheelchairs, um, we just want everyone out to come out and have a good time and learn more about Rainbows United. Rainbow Youth United has helped me and my family with my youngest child, so I got involved, decided to help with the race. I enjoy running and wanted to do what I could to help them out. I was asked to, to come join in on the, on the festivities. Um, I got one of my houses that we take care of uh, to come out and help us today. I got five girls over here. Um, we're ready to man the tent and hand out some water and uh, granola bars to the racers. I am the AmeriCorps VISTA that's currently serving with Rainbows and so I assume the role of the volunteer coordinator. I am in charge of coordinating all the volunteers, making sure they're going where they're supposed to be and we have everybody to fill all the volunteer posts that we need. It took about, let's see, we have a whole committee of people, we have everybody at Rainbows has been so supportive, we have a ton of people coming out to support today uh, with volunteering, with joining the race, with donations. Uh, it's been an effort of a lot of people. And the whole event is meant to be very family friendly um, and fun, uh, obviously very colorful as well. Uh, so while we are doing the 5K component, this event really is all about the kids. So we have 10 families here who have been sponsored um, by generous donors um, who are served by rainbows and their whole family got to come attend the event. Um, so they'll be walking with us later. We're really excited for that. It's so exciting to see the community come together and support this inaugural event and uh, just how many people are excited to see the staff and the staff to see the families. and. That, that's just the most exciting thing, is just to see the community support for this program. As a volunteer, I'm uh, checking in new registrations, so checking in those last minute runners and walkers and families to make sure that everybody can participate. We help uh, you know, sponsor some of this. We're doing uh, free uh, foot adjustments for the runners um, uh, in, in efforts to help uh, promote health and, and awareness of, of injuries and preventing injuries while, while running. Well today I am kind of the role of race coordinator so I haven't given myself a specific volunteer duty um, but I will just be helping mostly in the registration room making sure that goes smoothly and that we can get um, all of the uh, the registration information into the timing people so we can have um, the awards ready to go at the awards ceremony and I'm also going to be crunching numbers um, so that by the end of the awards ceremony we can announce how much money we raised today. We have a big heart for children and especially kids that need help and so we really appreciate all that Rainbow does for the community. And so when we saw the run walk and saw the water sponsorship, we really wanted to get involved yeah, with that. Yeah, so. we, we really just wanted to jump on it with, with them and, and help. Yeah. So. I got involved with Rainbows um, only in the last few months because my daughter Chloe uh, has tubular sclerosis complex. and. As a mother, I'm very aware of the importance of an organization like Rainbows, so I wanted to be able to serve and give back. They're just the dedication to the kids and the services they provide. They're just, that, that's what they do, and um, they do it so well. It's really been a community effort, and our committee has been amazing, and the families have been really great. Um, and, uh, you know, without the, 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 the sponsors, the donors, the volunteers, uh, we wouldn't be able to do it. So my time means nothing without all those other people. So. <laughs> it's important for your community. If you want your community to be strong and the kids to be taken care of, then you need to donate your time and resources. I think it's very important to, to get involved in the community, to show the community that we care. and you know, to, to just really give give a helping hand because, uh, you know, it, it, it feels good to, to help those uh, in need. Well, it's cold and it's early, but everybody seems to be uh, coming out and it's going to be a good time today. We've got great weather, so it's going to be a fun one. It's great. You know, we didn't know what to expect, uh, but uh, as of Thursday, we had over 315 registrants and we expect more, you know, just coming in today. So we're very pleased. And the sponsors in the community have been so supportive of us. I think the turnout's been excellent, especially for the first run that they have to raise funds for this excellent organization. The crowd's great, the spirit's great, the volunteers are wonderful.
Uh, everybody's a little bit different. Everybody deserves what you and I have. We have the choice to do what we do. Uh, some of these people don't have those choices and they deserve to be involved and be out here in the community. We need to break these barriers down that society has put up and that's what this is all about. I think it tells you how important Rainbows is to the community and how much people rely on them and their services and the support that they do provide. It's been fun and I think we're probably a little bit different than some runs uh, because of our name and our colors that we use and our uh, being so focused on the child and the family. So we have activities for the kids and uh, we have child care we're offering. We just want to thank Butler County and the community of El Dorado for their support and uh, we look forward to doing this again next year.